Hello, this is a quick little uh, demo of how to set up MIDI show control from QLab or whatever your MIDI show control source is to enable Arts console. In this case, we're using a Quartz, but it could be anything else. So uh, as you can see, I've already programmed in some MIDI show control cues within QLab. Obviously, this isn't a demo of how to use QLab, but quick basics, you hit a MIDI cue, you tell it you want to use MSC, uh, and then you set your um, MIDI patch, and then do all these details. We'll go through that a bit more in a second. But first of all, we're going to get the set up. So in this case, we're going to go to uh, open workspace window, and then we're going to hit triggers. So in this case, I've already got it saved, but you would just need to tab along or search for it. Um, so MIDI show control, uh, by default, you'll see it look a little bit like this. Um, you may, if it's a more advanced show, you might have some other triggering and etc that's set up but in this case this is a blank file um, i've just created for this little demo so if i turn on midi you can see there there's a little power icon next to it if i turn it off again you can see the difference uh there you go so midi is now on midi show control is on sorry um so the desk is ready to receive midi show control commands so uh, I'm just going to release that cue list so we can see when it triggers it. Um, so the next thing to enable, or at least check is enabled, is in user settings. So in this case, I'm going to do uh, AVO and soft key C. Uh, so by default, it will look a little bit more like this. Um, but we basically need to come down and go to time code. And then normally this will have a zero in it. Um, but in this case, what we want to do is set a MIDI uh, device ID. So this is essentially the unique um, like address, as it were, for MIDI for the so the desk knows what it needs to listen to. So if you've got a bunch of MIDI devices in chain, you might have a um, for a show that's using MSC to like trigger a bunch of stuff. You might have a sound desk that's on MSC. You might have the light console on MSC. You might have all sorts on MSC. So in this case, we're going to set twenty, so the desk knows to only listen to commands that are being sent to it via that uh, MIDI device ID. Cool. So that is the desk setup. Uh, obviously, I've got my um, basic file here of just some dimmers um, and a couple of cues to turn them on and off. Thing to note on the desk is this little number here. So when you create a queue or queue list or anything like that, like if I just create another queue a minute, there you go, nothing in it. You can see it puts a little number next to it. Um, that number is essentially the unique sort of reference for that particular um cue list uh or basically playback um so uh that is essentially the unique reference for that so we need to make note of say for example we're triggering cue list one we want to make sure that we're hitting cue list one and that's that uh that's pretty much everything on the desk so if i now come over to cue lab uh as we saw earlier i've got these cues set up so if i jump into one again so you see i've got light and generic uh, it's going to send a go command it's going to send it to device id 20 so that's the one we set for the quartz uh, and we're in this queue uh, on q lab telling it to be a queue number to so trigger queue number one on queue list one so if i now press go on this queue lab there we go it's told via that via that midi dongle to fire uh, Q list one Q one. Uh, my next one should do Q list one Q three, and then the next one should do Q list one Q two. There we go. Um, advantages of uh, MSC over just using MIDI triggers. Obviously, you can set up MIDI triggers so you can just put a MIDI note in here, send it to the desk, and map it so that it's essentially pressing the go button. Um, that works as a quick and easy way of doing things, um, but. Uh, the biggest issue with that is if, for example, you have to show stop and then you have to restart your show, um, you have to then go over to the line desk, tell it to go back to where it needs to be. You have to go over to your QLab, make sure it's all back where it was. Um, whereas with MSC, you know that, so obviously, it's only, if you just had a bunch of mini notes saying go, it would just keep going from the point it went. Whereas with MSC, you know that every time, so if I hit that one, okay, that's cool. I know that the next one goes three, but I'm going to go to two. Okay, actually, I need to go back. Okay, right, there we go. You can see as I'm jumping around, it is triggering specific cues. It's not just going go, 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 go every single time. Um, so yeah, that's the advantage of MSC. Hopefully that all makes sense. That all works for you guys. Um, and yeah, should be pretty self-explanatory.